Patches for you. We even have a new environment. New environment. New fractal patches. Celebrate. New year. New me. Yeah. So it's March. Let's just let's just say what we did here, Bradford. We used the profiling quote functionality of the Axe Effects. It's not called profiling. It's called tone matching. To tone match an amp that doesn't exist in the fractal specifically universe. exists. Yeah. There's. It's got a similar style That's of right. amp. That's right. So this is called the Plexman DW. Plexman means there's a plexi in a basement. DW means Dreamweaver. Uh, so we've tone matched uh, my third power, Dreamweaver, which if you're not familiar with the Dreamweaver, it's... Or third power in general. Yeah, it's two channels and each channel has different voices and you can blend them all together. So the Dreamweaver is a plexi on one channel and two different flavors of Fender on the other. Uh, a blonde basement and tweed and a tweed deluxe 
And so we took the Plexi and the Baseman in uh, the Axe Effects and the FM9 and the FM3. This is available for all of those. And we tone matched them individually to the individual channels of the third power. And then for FM9 and Axe Effects 3, we've given you stereo a stereo patch using both tone matches and both amp models. Mm -hmm. And for FM3, we've given you uh, channel A is the plexi, both the amp model and the tone match. So channel A in the amp block is plexi. Channel A in the cab block is the tone match. And then of the plexi, and then channel B is basement, both in the amp model and then the tone match. But you can't have two. Block. You can't have two amps in yeah. the FM three. FM three. You might think, well, I don't get stereo amps. I don't think you're missing out. I mean, it's cool the, for, the, for the stereo amps. It is cool. What we're trying to say is each of these channels individually sounds really good. Yeah. This isn't quite the same as like having the actual amp because the actual amp, you don't like run each channel individually. Like in stereo. In stereo because yeah. it's not, there are amps that exist like that. It's kind of wild. But this is just a, a one channel at a time amp or you can blend them. Yeah. So what we did is we ran each channel basically at the same time and ran them in stereo. So plexi on yeah. one side, basement on one on the other side. And what we don't normally do, but we did for this, mm -hmm. is we ran all the wet effects in for Ooh, runt. This is the next party trick for yes. this preset and yes. it's awesome. I really like the sound, really like it, that's what I prefer. The mm -hmm. sound of wet effects into the front of amps. When the wet effects are after, they tend to be more pristine. Yep. Um, it tends to be, it doesn't have as much character. It kind of just makes your sound a little bigger, actually. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. It so really does. It yeah. does. So when you're running wet effects into the amps, stuff seems to be a little more, not squished in a bad way. Yeah. But it's just a little, a little more, more compressed. Because yeah. you're pushing a lot of signal into an amp. Um, I don't know. I really like that sound. And you you do have to really dial in things differently. You do. You as can't far just as move reverb, things around. Reverbs and delays mm -hmm. into the amp versus after the amp. And you have to approach gain differently too. Mm -hmm. For Axe FX3 and FM9, we have three drive blocks in all of these patches. Each with four channels of drives <laughs> as well. Yes. Yeah, so Drive block one. 12 drive pedals. Yeah, drive block one is all like lower gain drives and you get four flavors. We've put our favorites into a, channel A. a yeah. Drive block two. And that changes depending on the patch. Yeah, drive block two is like mid gain drives and drive block three, big drives. Yeah, and so, like distortion more specifically. And usually. we, drive one and two, we've, we've, we've experimented with all the low and mid gain drives in our presets. We don't really go that hard into the big gain drives. But we landed on a couple cool ones. One is the Box of Crunch, which is the, wh who makes the Crunch Box? MI Audio. It's sort of a classic Marshall It is pretty at this box. point, yeah. It's interesting, in our research on that pedal, we, we realized that uh, Andy Timmons is a fan of it, and uh, JHS <laughs> modeled the Angry Charlie, which then became the AT, AT. The Andy Timmons signature. The Angry Charlie is based on the Crunch Box, so it's that kind of a thing. There's a Sir Riot in there. There's a Shimmer Drive in there. What else did we put? In shimmer the Drive. Uh, the Eterna. The Eterna, like, is a big drive setting. Mm -hmm. So, all four channels of all three of those drive blocks are dialed in. And again, channel A is our personal favorite. But for your rig, you might prefer a different one. So just experiment. Uh, FM3 though, we opted. FM3 to do is different. Two delays instead of yeah. So there wasn't enough room to put two drive blocks. DSP wise. DSP wise. So, mm -hmm. uh, but scenes change the channels on the drive. Yeah, so there is that. So the one drive block in FM3 is channel A is the. We went with Jan Ray on mm -hmm. this one. That was it, a nice it's one. cool. Yeah, channel A is the lower gain. Channel B is the mid gain, uh, which is king of tone, but set up like the red side of Bradford's preferred settings. And then channels C and D are two big gain drives that you can experiment with. That's FM3. So the presets for all three platforms, AxeFX3, FM3, FM9, all have the same eight uh, scenes set up. So you've got different levels of drive. You've got some big, huge, like, reverb and delay, lead tone. Big, we huge. Put, <laughs> yeah, big and huge. For those of you who don't prefer wall of reverb in your lead tone, we have what's called a rock lead pre, uh, scene, too. So that's... Not all the reverb and delay. If you want a solo, there you go. We got some modulation in the uh, in the scenes as well. And of course, all of these use custom layouts for the different controllers. FM9 is its own thing, but like 
for FM3, we've included custom layouts for the FC6. For AxeFX3, custom layouts for the FC12. The README files, please read the README files. We put a lot of love and care and attention into them. They go into great detail. Read them. So if you want to know more about, we're talking, we talk tone match. We basically cloned an oh. app that doesn't exist in Fractal's universe and put it in there. Uh, we're going to have a video about that coming up. We're we're going to do, we have a handful of amps both we're behind us. We're going to run that down that over, gravel trail. Yeah, and over gravel, there, gravel trail, we, we have gravel. amps that don't exist in Fractal's universe. Uh, Take that. And we are planning to do a, a series of these presets that are like tone matched presets. Yeah. And we're going to we're gonna go into like how we do them. Uh, that's a video coming up. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see what that's all about. It's pretty awesome. Subscribe and be notified. Subscribe and be notified. That's what, oh, my, yeah. that's what my eight year old son says whenever he makes YouTube videos.